Hello there, this is Dan and today I'm going to show you how to make a variable length for a lower third or some other kind of graphic inside of Adobe After Effects. So this is a kind of lower third that I made in the last video and it's simply going to animate in, make this kind of text burst effect and then later on it's going to animate out and the shape goes to the side again. So in Premiere Pro if I go to the Essential Graphics panel and just drag this in with a new sequence then I can actually see this here and if I go into the Essential Graphics Edit section then I can edit the kind of properties that I allow. So Dan, so Dan's tutorials let's say and then if I click away from this it's going to update here. We can change the font, make it something else and make it false bold and of course the style and the size um, but there's a multitude of different things that you can play around with this but however what we can't really play around with currently is actually the um, length of this so if I drag this to make it shorter then it's just going to get rid of the um, ending animation which we want still and we can't drag it out too far because this is like the clip's length of course we could just use the cut tool to cut parts out but that's inaccurate and well I don't really like it I would just get too bothered by um, this split right here. So let me go ahead and delete this and I'll jump into After Effects and it's a really really easy fix to this. So the first thing you just want to do is bring up all of the keyframes that I've actually keyframed which is you on the keyboard and here right here is just the start keyframes and these are the end keyframes. Now you see this little work area bar right here so this is the start um, and then the end over here all you want to do is just kind of cover the start and the end keyframes with that. So I'll start with the start keyframes to animate the shape in. And then on the, like the grey area of the work area bar, right click and then press the last option, create protected region from work area. And then you're going to see it's kind of changed a little bit. You can change this, but I'm just going to leave this how it is. I'll do exactly the same on this side, so I'm just sort of dragging it in the middle of this to change the offset or position or wherever. <clears throat> and if I jump back to the essential graphics panel, I've got all the different um, properties loaded here. I press the export motion graphics template, I'll save the project, I'll export it here, and I'll replace the old one that hadn't got the variable length. I'll jump back into Premiere Pro, go back to browse, drag in this lower third, and now you can see it's exactly the same, but this time I can drag this shorter, and then it's still got that kind of animate out effect, so I can make it just zoom out there with minus I can make it as long as I'd like so it's still gonna animate on it's just gonna pause and then animate off so what it's actually doing is is protecting these keyframes the keyframe section and this part in the middle from around here to here that is actually where it's kind of cutting um, cutting it out or, or stretching it okay then so does this kind of answer your question I really hope it does but if not please make sure to leave it in the comments down below I'll see you next time. Bye.